In this tutorial, you will learn how to create baseline models just using your MC1 excavator. Typical use cases are drainage, sewage, trench for curbs, pretty much anything you would need a string for. We start in the run screen. Go to the main menu. Press create model. Select baseline model. Go to the next page. Here we can choose to display points from any model you have or display already measured as built points. In this example, we will log a new element. Note, this will display where your tool point is on the cutting edge of the bucket. In this example, it follows the height tool point and is located in the left side. Place your tool point on the spot where the pipe starts. Press Lock New Element. Place your tool point where the pipe changes direction. Press Lock New Element. Place your tool point where the pipe ends. Press Lock New Element. Tap and hold on the point where your pipe starts. Correct the height according to the project. Note, if you have height on all points, you can repeat this action to all the points. Now, connect the points by tapping on them. 1, 2, 3. Our points are now connected by a line. Go to the next page. Here we can adjust our long slope. Start by selecting start and end point. In this example, it starts with the point 1 and ends at the point 3. Now, enter the slope as per the project specifications to 20 per mil. Press OK. Press Align to align your long slope on the pipe. Remember that the point 1 was the one where we corrected the height. So, our result is a line starting at height 8.40 and going forward with a 20 per mil slope. Go to the next page. Here we can see our baseline and we can name it. Press the flag to save the baseline. This brings us back to the run screen. Tap and hold on the run screen to set our site reference to follow our height. Tap and hold again to select the first segment as our height reference. We are now ready to work. That's it. You have learned how to create baseline models only using your MC1 excavator.